All right, let's start off with telling you, I, I really don't have any idea why I've been uh, singled out for particular attention by the media. Um, I don't know anything about it even. I don't even know how big it is or what's going on. I mean, I know or strongly suspect uh, it was on some uh, local cable station in San Francisco, Community Access Television. CAT TV, um, but I also have evidence that 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 leads me to believe that it's much much bigger than a local uh, community access television station, because that guy, that obnoxious guy Michael Weiner, who has a radio show, he, his professional name is Michael Savage, so you might know that name. He mentioned me on this show, which. I couldn't believe it either, but it was just pretty obvious. He was talking to Dana, and they were talking some real petty, piddly stuff about me. Uh, and I was like, wow. Because, like, you know, that Michael Savage show, think about him, what you, what, whatever you want. Um, that's a nationally syndicated show, and it's all over the country. So I don't think he'd be talking about some, like, insignificant little local phenomenon nobody knows about on a nationally syndicated show. And also, this, when this stuff, like, really, really heated up back in, like, 2007, 2008, when Dana was really applying, applying the screws, um, it really, really heated up, and I think I had, like, I think a lot of people were watching it, because everybody was messing with me, everywhere, everywhere. And I, would, I got nasty emails from people uh, as far away as Germany and Australia and, like, all over the world. You know, so this is really big. It's like really overkill. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just one little person. I mean, I never had any tremendous ambitions. I never wanted to be a political figure. I never wanted to be a captain of industry or, or anything. I just maybe hoping that I was just trying to get my artwork in galleries and stuff like that. And I don't even like being on television. I'm very shy. Well, I think the lens is already clean that way. Oh, I don't know if it's any better. Yeah, I don't even like being on TV. I'm a very, very shy person. In fact, I, I, I like to make create. I like to do creative things and stuff. I wanted people to look at my work. I didn't want people looking at me. I wanted, I wanted to hide behind my work and have people look at my work. And as you can imagine, I was, I was shocked to find out that someone had been like putting me on TV using my real name, using using pictures of me, and and people talking about me. And they've been they've been paying people to get involved with me and screw me up so they could put it on the show. And they've been doing it for. Jesus Christ, I've done since elementary school, I, I suspect. So, this is all, you know, very scary. Uh, and, of course, they always tell people I was crazy all the time. Back when I was in, like, uh, up to, like, high school, I, always, I think they were telling me I was crazy because I get a lot of, like, weird reactions from people I didn't know and stuff like that. I thought I was crazy. But after I got my adult life, I think they switched over and were telling people that I was some kind of, like, hardcore drug addict. You know? And, like I said... I don't know if it was this video or another video, but I didn't even, like, try any hard drugs until I was in my... Until I was 33 or 34. Up until then, I just like everybody else, I just drank on my own time and smoked some weed. And never had any problems with it. Never went to work lit up or anything like that. Um, just confined it to my own... My own time. And usually on nights where I didn't have to go to work the next day, so I was very responsible about it. But, of course, they, they're always, like, trying to get me involved with drugs. They always had people. They're always trying to tempt me along that path. But I was always very curious about that stuff. I just had common sense, you know. I just had common sense. Um, but, you know, but after a while, with this, this, this show, you know, it's constantly disappointing you. And, 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 you know, and every time you try to do something, it doesn't work out. And you don't really understand why you put so much effort into stuff, but you don't get any return. And everybody has these weird ideas about you and it just seems to, like, not like you for, like, reasons you don't understand. After a while, you know, life starts to beat you down. And you're more open to the idea of, like, doing some of these things. You know, maybe because you're not so much worried about it destroying your life anymore. Because you basically come to the conclusion that your conclusion that your life is already pretty messed up. <laughs> it should be worth it just to feel good for a change, you know? Very sad. So my life is all down the drain. I had potential, you know? I I, I, I was always creative. You know, I always had a sense of humor. I like drawing. I like writing. I was always a nice guy, too. Despite what they tell you. They make me out to be a monster. And a lot of times they drive me freaking half crazy with the stuff they put me through. 
especially since they got me back here, up here last time, because they got me involved with the, the hard drugs, and um, they were really, really, really fucking with me. They got people to just be so nasty to me. You know, and they, yeah, the thing is, also they were messing with me my whole life, and I said they started, like, really getting, like, really starting to hit below the belt once I got out of high school. But I think also I had to do with my grandfather, because when they started trying to make trouble for me back in 1975, I had this teacher who was determined to rule my life. She wanted to hold me back a grade. She wanted to send me to a special, some kind of retarded school or something like that. And that seemed to be what she, she was all about. She wanted to destroy my life. Luckily, my grandfather stepped in and, uh, you know, said, like, this woman's crazy, you know, don't listen to her. I mean, like, he was a straight-A student up until he gets in her class, and all of a sudden she wants to hold me back a grade. The woman's obviously nuts. And so he got me out of that. And I think they, 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 they lightened up a, a bit. And uh, it wasn't until the couple of times that I moved out of the house on my own, they started, like, turning the heat up again. Um, and then, yeah, and then my grandparents were really old. And and, uh, and then Dana lured me up to the Bay Area for the last time. The last time she did this. And then they started going hog wild. And then after my grandfather died in 2009, it's been off the hook. Because I, I think that, that, that more, my parents, my, my, my family knew about this thing. I don't know how much they were involved with it or how much they supported it, but I know they knew about it. And so maybe they didn't go too crazy trying to mess me up because they were worried about having to explain it to him. So they kind of like did everything like more underhandedly and sneakily, I'm thinking. But since he's been out of the way, they haven't had those restrictions or hindrances. So I know what's going to happen to me. I know what's going to happen to me. I mean, I can't get work. I, can't, I used to say I can't get a high-paying high job, but it's gone beyond that. I can't get any job. And if I do get hired to do some crummy minimum wage job, it's usually by some asshole who just wants to fucking use it to, like, fucking just be mean to me and, and humiliate me and, like, make me fucking scrub toilets with my tongue and shit like that. I mean, these are the kind of assholes. The only kind of, the only kind of assholes who hire, hire me anymore. But, uh, what I guess... The good news is, if you can call it that, is uh, so I, w I was really trying to get attention drawn to this whole thing, the TV show, and these uh, psychologists finally made me legitimately crazy. They said, like, oh, this is all some, this is all some kind of uh, idea fixé you have. It's all, it's all some kind of schizoid delusion. I mean, don't worry, young man, we'll, we'll get you a government check and have you take all these wonderful drugs and, and you'll be fine. I don't take the friggin' drugs. So I know I don't need them. But I gladly take the government check because I would doubt have started death a long time ago if I didn't accept the, the handout. But, you know, given all that, I, I have a nice place. And um, I try to... I don't feel so much like doing the creative things anymore. My spirit's kind of broken as far as doing creative things. I write about my situation once in a while. And... Um, I really don't do artwork anymore. But I'm alive. And I read a lot. I read a lot. Not as often as I should. I spend too much time on the bloody internet. I really hate the internet. I used to have problems watching TV, so I finally stopped watching TV in 2005. And I, now the internet's sucking me in. <laughs> it's funny. I've always, like, I always, always, I've always hated media. I've always been on the campaign about the evils of media uh, for the past 20, 25 years. And then you can imagine what a friggin' trip it was to find out that the media has been on a campaign to screw me up, too. <clears throat> so it's a feelings mutual between me and the media. I really don't like the media, and the media doesn't like me. And I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win. I mean, who's bigger, me or the media? <laughs> I'm just like one teeny little fucking ant, you know, against all this all this, all this apparatus and, and machinery and, and, and money. I don't have a chance. They're going to squish me. They've been squishing me. Well, it is, is to my credit that, that I'm still alive after everything they try to do to me. That, that's sort of heroic, I suppose. Hmm. They would have they made, they, they made They almost made short work of me several times. Anyway, guys, yeah, so I just wanted to do this video. And I uh, hope this one, I don't know. These videos, I'm not, like I said, I don't like being on TV. I don't like being on the camera. So I'm not, I don't like doing this. I'm just doing it because I feel I have to. I'm a very shy, very personal person. I don't like being videotaped or filmed. But, you know, i got to fight fire with fire. Okay, guys. I'll see you next video. Bye. 
Yeah, it's just annoying. These people with their, their bloody show uh, putting notions about me you know, people's heads and stuff like that. A lot of people did I've known for a for, for long, 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 long time. I always keep me at arm's at length. It's like, I thought it's worse. Like, yeah, I've known this person since elementary school, but they always keep me at arm's length whenever I try to talk to them or something like that, you know? Um, and then you fucking, if you go, if you're persistent enough, you know, go after them. They'll, 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 oh, because I, I, don't, I, don't, I think drugs are bad. I don't want to get involved with drugs. And it's like, okay, so you don't want to talk to me because you don't like drugs. Where did you get the idea I had anything to do with drugs? You know, there's a lot of people that I don't not only, you know, it's like they don't, a lot of these people, it was even my own brother, you know, it's like he, I was talking to him for a while, and so he like stopped talking to me altogether. You know, just like, so this disappeared. And then I got back in touch with him a few years later, and it's like, oh yeah, because you're all doing those drugs and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, where did you get the idea I was doing drugs? Like for one thing, uh, he doesn't know anybody I know, so there's no way it's what it got back to him through like any kind of normal channels. And another thing, it's like, um, at the time I was talking to him, I wasn't involved with drugs at all, you know? So he's getting this information, and it's not even accurate information from some undisclosed source. Um, and it's not just him, it's like, there's a lot of people, a lot of people, and it's like, it's not always drugs, there's a lot of people. A lot of people say they will just because they think I'm crazy or something, or... Because they saw something that I supposedly said or did on this show, I put them off. It's like, okay, I didn't do a lot. I did a lot of the stuff. It's like I didn't even do it. And the thing is, like, even if I did say something in private, it's not right that they should be broadcasting this to everybody. Like, you, you most people, you're, with any degree of intelligence, you're smart about who you tell what. You know, you might have your own opinions about things. You'll only share that opinion with other people you know are cool with it. You might have the same opinion, or at least be open to the same opinion. You know, indiscriminately blab it to everybody because, you know, some people are going to get bent out of shape and mad about it. But this this freaking show, it's like, I don't even have the privilege of controlling who I tell what because everything I say goes out to everybody. This is a surefire way to fuck somebody up. You know? Unless you're like a total empty-headed idiot who doesn't have any controversial opinions at all. Who's a pretty damn boring person. You know? This is going to fuck anybody up. These people... Doing this to me. Why? Why are they going? They're going through all a lot. Why are they going through so much trouble? It's like I don't get it. And the people that they tried this when I first found out about this stuff, found out about stuff, the show and stuff like that, they were like, "Why would anyone do that to you? You're nobody. You're nobody." You know. And of course, it, it might that might sound kind of mean, kind of mean, but I'm sure they meant it mean, because it's like you know, the audacity to me to think that I'm important enough to that anyone would would, would, would take an interest in, in, in slandering me. Well, the thing is, I know people are slandering me. It's got no, nothing to do with my supposedly elevated opinion of myself. I know it's happening. So all I can deduce from this is that somehow, somehow, I am in some way an important person. And like everything else that motivates people to do messed up things, I'm sure it's got to do with money. There's money involved. No one else would give a shit about me one way or the other unless somehow I'm Something to do with money. I don't know. There's no money in my family. I certainly don't have any money. They, they've seen to that. Um, <laughs> so I'd really like to know what's going on. And people are like so mean to me. It's like, of course, a lot of it's like because the, the show is like very, very, in very bad taste and, and it's very childish and, and, and it intentionally tries to inflame people. All the, the annoying uh, the background music and stuff and and the way people act on this thing, it's all really snotty, disgusting, kind of slanderous production, you know what I mean? And that'll get people to dislike me too, but it's like more than that, there seems to be like a, an extra edge to, to, to their anger towards me. And I can't think of what it could be because I've not done anything so bad. It's like, I didn't really say anything all that bad, you know? Of course, if you cherry pick and you record me 24 hours a day, you could probably put together something that'll, that'll, that'll get people very cross. Um, so, yeah, so, but I think, well, maybe if, if there's money involved, I imagine if, if some, something to do with me and money, and of course, if that's the case, I'd really like to know what it is. Um, it's, if, if it's enough money, it'll make people, like, really, real jealous, mad, mad at me that I'm getting it, not them, I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, 
and uh, you know, see even worse is like, of course, there's certain type of people who are like jealous people, and they get mad whenever anybody gets anything they feel they would like to have or maybe deserve. But the show, like, not only makes you like seem like a random person who just is having some kind of good luck, but like I'm like a real disgusting, distasteful, you know, uh, offensive asshole type guy who who totally doesn't deserve it. Totally, it's like I deserve to be fucking killed, <laughs> and here I am. Uh, supposed to be coming into money or something. I don't have no... I'm just speculating. I don't know what it's about. Anyway, this is kind of something that goes around in my head trying to figure this out. And, of course, it's all self-referential, circular kind of stuff because nobody gives me any hard facts. Um, so I have to rely entirely on my... on my own, uh... You know, ideas. And speculations. Blah, 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 to try to figure out what's going on. But obviously, someone's spending, someone has spent so far in excess of uh, 35 years, maybe possibly more, focusing on me to mess me up. What's it all about? What's it all about? This is a mystery. This is a mystery. I want to solve it, of course, because I'm in the center of it. I always like solving mysteries. You know? But what mystery would I like to solve more than the mystery that seems to be surrounding my very existence. What's going on? Make my life a living hell. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm, I'm, I did, it wasn't for the fact that I found that I'm in the matter in the middle of this, this this controversy, in the middle of this 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 thing. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I would have I wouldn't have much reason to go on at all because they've really taken everything away from me. I don't have really anything left to look forward to. I just look out in the future. I see a bleak desert. I don't see anything good happening for me. So much stuff I missed out on. So many things I wanted. Yeah. I mean, just normal things. You know, like having kids or something like that. But they taken that from me. But, so, yeah, so finding out that, that, that there's something, that there's a bunch of uh, p hidden people uh, dedicated to destroying me. Well, if that don't perk you up, what will, right? <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you next video. Stay cool. Bye. Hey, yeah, guys, hey. Um, I try and make these videos talking about the situation because I think that's the, um, the, the approach that will pay off most because I know, I know a lot of people, either they, they don't read, they don't like reading, they can't be bothered reading, or they don't have very good reading comprehension or whatever, and, um, so if I want to, like, make sure to get a message across to the public, I need to make a video. But I'm not good at making videos. I get very, very nervous on camera. And I always, without fail, forget to say some, like, really important thing I wanted to say. Uh, but, you know, I like to be pragmatic. And uh, I know that making the videos is the best way to get the message across. So I, I, even though I hate doing it and I'm bad at it, I, I force myself uh, to, to, to do it in video format. Um, but really, if you guys really, you know, if you, I, I wish you would try and read some of the stuff I wrote. I'm going to leave a link under this video to uh, the DeviantArt account that I use um, where I post a lot of this stuff in the journal section there. Um, so, so if you can, if you really are curious about any of this, I mean, not all the writing is consistently good. Some of it's just like I just put it up because I need to put up something and I haven't put up anything in a while. And a lot of it's just really kind of like just me. I get I being you know like swearing and getting angry and stuff like that, which I doesn't really help my 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 cause. But I mean I'm only human, and if it, let's be honest, anyone's get get if anyone has had like their entire lives smashed by you know uh, the media, which you're all like raised to like you know trust, put a lot of faith in and everything. You really shouldn't do that. They're very ran by really bad people for very bad reasons but um yeah that that will have that will have a negative uh, effect on, on you emotionally and, and uh, you'll either feel very sad maybe suicidal or very angry or or maybe manic or excitable whatever but it's going to kind of have extreme extreme effect on, on you emotionally and so I, I guess i do give vent to that a little bit but um still there's some of the posts are very good and, and i go into detail about a lot of this because I, when writing, I write something, I can always like, go back and re-edit it and add stuff. I forget to put it in and stuff like that and, and, and get it the way I want it with video. 
Oh, I'm not an actor, you know. I, 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 I did a little video editing back in uh, computer school, like, uh, 15 years ago, but I haven't really used it in the real world much. Um, but I'll try to st st stitch some of these videos together and, and, and put together something that won't be too tedious, hopefully. <laughs> okay, guys, see you next video. Bye. Okay, since I know how nasty the people on the show are, because I've heard it, and it's... They're really insufferably childish on this thing. I couldn't believe the way they were carrying on about me. And what are they ever doing to anybody? You know, it's ridiculous. Um, so I have to, I have to, you know, be, have to be careful and dot all my I's and cross all my T's because they'll be all over it if I don't. And when I said I only, until I was in my early 30s, I only smoked weed. And not very often. I never liked weed very much. But I drank on my own time. Um... But I also, I also, I also did uh, hallucinogenics too, but very, very, very rarely. Nowhere near as I'm sure they, yeah, probably gave the impression uh, that I did them in, in nearly that bad. I did them in high school like maybe four times in my adult life, probably. <laughs> Mushrooms and LSD together, yeah, probably six times. Just LSD, probably like three. And that's it. Also, um... Also, once I found out what was going on with these people and their TV show and all this nefarious, evil, evil, um, stuff they've been doing to me and the reason why my life is so messed up, it's not, none of it's my own fault. It's all because of these wicked people and, 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 and their media. I was finally able to, to quit doing all things entirely. I just lost interest in the whole thing. Because if I knew why my life was so messed up, I didn't have the compulsions anymore. And I was free. Plus, when I saw what a bunch of insufferable pricks those those those, those jerk offs were over at the fucking Rockridge Village of AA, I said, like, "Well, if I gotta rely on people like this to get my thing together, I'm never I'm never gonna do it." So I decided I had to do it on my own if I wanted to do it right. And so that's exactly what I did. And I'm very proud to say I did it without any help from anybody, totally by myself. You know, it is absolutely true. Because I didn't have any choice. You know. A lot of times we don't think we do a thing until we don't have any choice and we have to do it, and we can do it. It's not a problem anymore because we really don't have any choice but to do it. So I just wanted to add those little things. I'll tag those on the end of the video. Uh, I don't know which one of these videos I'm making. A lot of them came out pretty bad. I'm going to try to um, piece together you know, little bits here and there that seem salvageable and, and put this video together. All right, you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. See you next video. Bye. Okay, I just want to make a little addendum here. Uh, a couple times, the subject of uh, Jewish involvement and in all this has come up. Uh, both when suggesting that, or a couple suggesting that it, it's, it's, an, it's a nefarious element. And some people say, like, oh no, don't listen to them. There's no Jews involved with this at all, blah, blah, blah. But, okay, now, although I don't necessarily believe in the people that uh, say that, that this is necessarily a solely nefarious, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the involvement, uh, Jewish involvement. Uh, the people that say there's no Jews involved, well, I'm afraid you're all wet too. Because I know for a fact there's an awful lot of Jews involved with this thing. All uh, Dana, Dan Brownfield, total Jew. All her friends, really Jewish. Uh, all the people in my life, most of them Jewish. Oh, uh, so there's Jewish involvement, all right. Um, as to like whether it's benign. Or, uh, or or evil, that that that's a that's possibly open to debate. Um, of course, I can't say uh, whether their involvement with this is is perfidious, uh, benign or beneficial, because I don't know what it's all about. Now I know that uh, the, the the show and the people in the show they 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 dedicate a lot of time to defaming me, slandering me. Insulting me, uh, you know, belittling me, humiliating me, right? So that's bad. But I don't know what it's all about. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're doing this. Of course, it's hard to imagine that people would be insulting and belittling you and defaming you for for good reason, unless you're an evil, wicked person, which which I am certainly not. 
So, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure all of these videos and all of these writings I make about this thing are going to be, to turn around and be very embarrassing to me once I find out what's really going on. But what else can I do? I want to figure this out. i got to spin my wheels. I wish I could get more feedback from people, more serious feedback. But that's the way the game is, I guess. Anyway, so, yeah, so see you guys next video. Take it easy. Bye.